Saint-Quentin-en-Yvelines. The venue for the track cycling at the Olympic Games in 2024 was the venue for Peter Sagan's goodbye to this Tour de France and the rest of the pelotons as well. In the case of Sagan, it was going to be end of his Tour de France career. The rest, hoping to come back next year, suffering from war wounds, checking out their achievements and ready to show off their trophies. A smile just about. One final ride. A chance for the sprinters. Or even others to have a go and attack. The yellow jersey firmly on the back of Jonas Vingegaard, who was set to win the Tour de France, barring incident or accident, for the second successive year. Just outside of Paris then, Saint-Quentin-Yvelines and the National Velodrome, the venue for the start of 115.1 kilometers. On the way to Paris, at a finish, the iconic finish on the Champs-Élysées. Eight laps around the famous boulevard. And once they got to kilometre zero, it was a practical joker. The most combative rider of the Tour de France, Victor Campanards, who put in the show attack. Then it was time for the usual family photos. All the jersey wearers, riders from certain nations. Teams coming up to do their thing as well. And of course, the winning team to lift those champagne glasses. Wout van Aert at home, a father again for the second time, not forgotten. And the peloton were off to the French capital to celebrate the end of the tour. Famous monuments passed. The finish line passed, eight laps to go, and then the real racing began. Attack after attack came. The final 50 kilometers ridden at full gas with Tadej Pogacar nonetheless on the move. Nata Verhoydant went with him but wouldn't work with him as other riders tried to get across. Those other riders included Edmondson, Kwiatkowski, Skelmoser, Tejada was there as well, Pollitt in the group but then too many people wanted to be involved. Simon Clark would have a go too. Lotto Destiny sent Frison up the road. Nelson Oliveira for Movistar. And around the Arc de Triomphe they went. The sprinters would still be hoping to triumph, but there was going to be plenty more to fend off if they were to have their opportunity. Alarm bells would have been ringing as Little Trek decided they had to close things. And then the next attacks came. Final lap, the bell ringing. Campanarts at the front again, and the threat of another group going away. Jacob Alula, though, took control. Other riders started to wait behind. Vingegaard, of course, having a huge seven and a half minute gap. And into the final kilometer, everybody went. Pogacar drove them into that final K. By the time it came to the final corner, a longer uphill than in previous years for the last two or three seasons, but it was still Alpes into Koenig leading things out with Mathieu von der Poel. Jasper Philips are poised and ready maybe for another stage win. Then De La Grunewege shot out. Mars Pearson was there. And on the right-hand side, the green jersey of Jordi Meus got ahead. He pushed his bike to the line. Jasper Philips had did the same. They'd have to wait. They'd have to look. A photo finish was required. Philips or Meus, both in green. Meus, this time on Tour de France debut, winning the most famous bunch sprint in the world. Look at this, look at this. Band of brothers, Marco Hala, Danny van Poppel, and Jordi Meus. The band of brothers winning it. Jordi Meus upsetting Jasper Phillips in the photo finish. Grunewig in third, Pearson and Ball in the top five. And seconds later, Jonas Vingegaard crossed the line. A second successive Tour de France victory for him on the day he announced that he would be going to the Vuelta España as well. Delight for Richard Plucher and the Jumbo Visma team. Vingegaard doing his thing again. On the final podium, Victor Campanas announced as the most combative rider of the whole tour. The team classification was won by Jombo Visma too. 
Standing on the famous boulevard with the Arc de Triomphe in the background, Estale Pogaccia finished the winner of the white jersey competition for the best young rider. Two successive years finishing second for the Slovenian star, a two-time winner of the race already. Giulia Ciccone becoming the first Italian since 1992, in the record books at least, to win the polka dot jersey. From Claudio Capucci all the way to Ciccone in 2023. 31 years had passed. The ninth Italian in history and joining the likes of Coppi and Bartelli as well. Jasper Philips, the green jersey winner and the top sprinter of this Tour de France. Full stage wins and Alpacine de Koenig doing a grand job supporting the Belgian. The points classification going his way. And Jonas Vingegaard on top of the final podium that had two teammates in second and third. Tadej Pogacar finishing there, Adam Yates in third place for UAE Emirates. The final GC, Vingegaard, Pogacar, Adam Yates, Simon Yates and young Carlos Rodriguez in fifth. Bilbao, Henley, Gall, Godou and Martin making the final top ten, separated by a whopping 26 and a half minutes. Paris and the Tour de France say goodbye for another year. In 12 months' time, the Tour will be finishing down south and the Olympic Games will be heading to Paris and Montmartre. The French flag flying, but the Tour, for the second year running, speaking Danish. <laughs>